Gold and Silver Rebel Alliance, or should I say the Makeup Alliance? I'm Tori. I am kicking off this brand new series to bring you the latest in pop culture news while doing my makeup at the same time, theming each makeup look to the topic that we're discussing that day. I'm also really sorry if you hear squeaking, little tiny footsteps, or noises like that. My dog Thor is with me in the room and he really likes his ball right now. So he's just playing off to the side and he keeps dropping it underneath pieces of furniture. So yeah, that's gonna be a, it's gonna be a re recurring theme during this. If you're a fan of true crime and makeup videos, this is something kind of like that. But we're not gonna be profiting off tragedy. At least not real life tragedies. Today we're gonna be talking about Star Wars news that's come out over the last week. Uh, so by the time I get around to filming and posting this, it's been a few days, so I'm a little late. We're going to be talking about the new Daisy Ridley movie coming out, as well as Dave Filoni's new position at Lucasfilm and what that means for the future of the franchise. While we discuss all of that, I will be turning myself into my favorite character, Ahsoka Tano. I wouldn't necessarily call this a tutorial on how to do my makeup. I will be putting tips and tricks of each step as I do them on screen with me. But now let's get into it. I've already primed my face, so we can just... There we go. Earlier this year at Star Wars Celebration London, which I was lucky enough to go to, um, Daisy Ridley made a surprise appearance and announced that Lucasfilm is working on a brand new movie with her about the events that happened after episode 9 about how she, uh, Rey, about how Rey creates a brand new Jedi Order. I don't know why people like lick their glue stick and then put it down their eyebrows. It does nothing. It just tastes gross. This process goes a lot faster because I shave half my eyebrows. Very little details have been released about this film. On November 21st, Daisy Ridley had an interview with Collider about the project, doing press for a different movie, but of course they had to talk about Star Wars. And one quote from that interview was taken out of context and then proceeded to be the headline for dozens of other articles. And that line was, the movie is not what I expected. So clearly the fanboys had a day with it. We're going around saying like, oh, see, even even Daisy Ridley knows that this movie's gonna suck, blah, 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 blah. And it's not the case, not the case at all. That was not the entire interview. The actual quote that she said, the story is really cool. I'm waiting to read the script because obviously I don't have any updates. It's not what I expected, but I'm very excited. So from that, we, we know that she knows the plot of the film. Of course she's not gonna tell us anything because she is under NDA and she's not like Tom Holland and she's not gonna give us anything else unfortunately. I am very excited to see the direction that they take this brand new movie. Hopefully we get alien races in Star Wars. I think they're so fascinating and I would would love more and I would love for them to be more main characters rather than just side characters that you see once every few scenes. But with the new position Dave Filoni is in, I am certainly expecting some cameos. Speaking of Dave Filoni, the same day as the Daisy Ridley Collider interview, we got a Vanity Fair interview from Dave Filoni as well as some of the other cast in Ahsoka. I'm so focused on filming these in. The writer, producer, director, and juggernaut of a nerd, Dave Filoni, announced his brand new role as Chief Creative Officer of Lucasfilm. Now, this new title gives him more voice. <laughs> this basically means uh, projects will be already moving along over in Lucasfilm before he is brought on. Now he's brought on basically in the room while they're being created and ideas are being spat around. Again, as many headlines do, not many give you the full story and people don't read past the headline. People were posting saying like, goodbye Kathleen Kennedy and that he was uh, taking over her role and her duties over at Lucasfilm. It's not the case. Kathleen Kennedy is the president of Lucasfilm. Uh, Filoni's position, brand new position, gets him a lot more involved. Uh, so he's still working with the president, Kathleen Kennedy, as well as the head of development, Carrie Beck. One of my favorite parts of that interview is Dave describes working at Lucasfilm kind of like being a part of the Jedi Council. The quote he says is, I'm not telling people what to do, but I do feel like I'm trying to help them tell the best story that they want to tell. I need to help across a galaxy here. Like part of a Jedi Council almost. So 
every person over at Lucasfilm has a very important job and a very important role to fill. So Kennedy oversees the entire company as a whole. Beck recruits those who are going to be the storytellers. And now Dave has one of the most daunting tasks at the company, and that's overseeing the entire story. He has to make sure each story is told in the best ways. And breaking our hearts like Anakin did to Padme in the process. We have no new updates for a potential Ahsoka season two, but the cast is very hopeful, and so am I. <laughs> Because after all, now we have a lot more galaxies to explore. And with Dave having more responsibility, I am sure I'm going to get my heart broken more by Star Wars. And we're done. Normally, I would get into my headpiece first before I start putting on all the makeup because the adhesive I use to attach my headpiece to my head uh, does not like water-based makeup. So I do the headpiece, then the makeup. Well, I do costume, headpiece, makeup. So I did the last step first, so I'm not getting into the full cosplay tonight. That sounds exhausting. What are your opinions and thoughts on the brand new Daisy Ridley uh, post-episode 9 movie? And your thoughts on Dave Filoni's new position as creative officer at Lucasfilm? I'm very excited for the future of Star Wars, and I can't wait to see the stories up next. Specifically Acolyte, I'm very excited for that one to come out, and for us to get any sort of brand new information about that, but that's a story for another time. In the meantime, may the force be with you. I'll see you soon.